talking about energy and matter. Matter is, well, everything, including you. <laughs> matter is anything that has mass and volume. Mass is the amount of matter an object or body has. It's the measurement of matter, like how scales measure weight. And volume is the space that matter occupies. And there are three basic stages or phases of matter. A solid, which has volume and the molecules are arranged in a repeating pattern, giving it a definite shape, like this ice cube. A liquid has volume but takes no definite shape. It takes the form of the object that it's in, like the water in this cup. Or gas, like steam rising from boiling water. The molecules are so far apart they have no definite shape or volume. All of these stages of matter have something called density. Density is the measurement of how close together particles are inside a substance. This can determine things like if something will sink or float. These balls are roughly the same size, but the ping pong ball is hollow on the inside and the golf ball is solid. The golf ball is denser so it sinks, but other things can change their form too, not just water. It's called conservation. The states of matter change, but the molecules remain the same. We talk about this in our stability and change video. Energy can't be destroyed or created, just transferred or converted as we see with the sun. Plants, also known as producers, use the energy from the sun to help produce glucose, a type of plant sugar, as well as the oxygen we breathe, another gas, and we need to survive. In fact, about 10% of the energy that plants absorb from the sun transfers or flows into the animal that eats or consumes it. And then about 10% of that energy flows to the secondary consumer. As each animal eats another animal, around 10% of the energy the plant absorbs flows to them. The percentage stays the same, but the amount of energy gets smaller and smaller. Even when an animal or plant dies, decomposers get the energy they need to grow, and the soil gets energy in the form of nutrients that help producers keep well producing. The cereal I ate this morning had potential or stored energy. But once my body starts to break it down, that stored energy is released and my body can use it to move and my brain can use it to think. But eventually, I'll run out of energy. But eating a snack will help refuel my body. There is also kinetic and potential energy. Potential energy is stored energy, while kinetic energy is the energy of motion. You can think of potential energy as kinetic energy waiting to happen. Knowing the characteristics of matter helps us to control systems and improve designs. And understanding properties of matter also helps us make predictions, like when you might be hungry again, or when you might need a jacket. Energy and matter are essential for life. They are life. Hey, we just used water to illustrate the different stages of matter, right? So at the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, energy and matter is kind of their thing. I mean, it's right there in their name. Now, we all probably have a pretty good idea where our water comes from. But have you ever wondered exactly where our energy comes from? It's probably more involved than you think. There's hydroelectric dams, wind turbines, solar, and even geothermal energy which is generated by steam found deep beneath the Earth's surface. In fact, more than a third of the electricity we use here in Los Angeles comes from renewable energy sources. And our goal is 100%. So if you've got a green mind and an eye towards sustainability, maybe the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power can use your help to make that goal a reality. Find out more at ladwp.com forward slash careers.